this is my process of custom engraving 2000 hockey pucks i'm doing a project for a local hockey team so i'm cutting a template just so we can have all the design remain the same all aligned and ready to go So at the time of recording this video, I've already completed 600. Those were already dropped off uh, so they could start issuing them out to the customers. So here I'll be doing 1300 and still waiting for another 100 names so I can add to the designs. So on one side, I added the company's logo and underneath I had the 2023 to 2024 season ticket member. Just here I'm doing another order so I just pop that in at the same time. So as you can see, the laser is still going. It's going pretty quick, so that's good. Here on my fiber laser, this one is super fast because this one takes me 23 seconds to complete one side. On this side, I'll add the customer's name, their section, their seat number, and the row that they're seated. So let's follow the process. So with this template, I'm able to do 117 each time. So that helped to speed up the process and get the job done quicker. So at this time, I just use a damp cloth uh, just so I can wipe the pucks clean from the engraving, the smoke dust and all that. Now I move to doing the single side with the name and the section and the seat number. This one is a bit uh, slower because I have to make sure the spelling of the names are correct and also the seat and row and section. So 
So while I'm doing the personalized side, I still go and check on the bigger laser to make sure that it's still going good. And I also check on my diode laser to make sure my other order is completed. So now that I'm doing these, I checked on the laser and the other one is completed. So another set, I'm gonna have to load these out. I usually keep them 100 each. I separate the 17. That way I know I can keep track of each boxes. So once, if I'm below 100 in each of the boxes, I know I might miss the name in the spreadsheet. So I'll go over, I'll check to make sure each of the name is completed. I'll check to make sure each of the spelling and the rows are correct before I load them up in the boxes. So here is a close-up view and real-time of the engraving. This is the process it goes through. So it cuts across and engrave as deep as I want it to be. Uh, once it's completed, there's a bit of smoke dust on it. That's why I usually wipe it off before I load it up. So at this point, I've already completed 1300 of the 15 that I thought I had, but upon checking, I realized they sent me 16 boxes instead of 15. So I've ended up doing an extra 100 that only had the logo on it and not the personalized side. So this is what the completed box looks like. This is after I've wiped them clean and ready to load them in the boxes. So it's the next day and I've already completed the 200 that I had to do. Now it's time to clean my exhaust fan from all the smoke and dust build up from doing the hockey box. This is why you need an exhaust fan if you're running a laser. Because all of this smoke and dust and build up, all this, you don't want to be breathing this in. So make sure guys, if you're using a laser, get an exhaust fan. Once I'm done cleaning the exhaust fan, I usually just use the air to blow the lines out because the fan won't be as powerful as the air. So that way, if there's any buildup inside of the exhaust lines, I usually clear these out. As you can see, the coils usually trap the dust and stuff because these are made from coils reeled together, right? So usually um, everything is backed up inside. So I use the air to give it a compressed blow just to get it all cleared out.
So once the fan is installed again, I usually just come to this section, I'll blow this part out, because usually this is where most of the dust is trapped, right in the corner of the bend, because the fan is not strong enough to pull the dust itself, it usually just pull the smoke. So the dust that traps inside, I usually just use the air to blow that part out while I have the fan running, so the airflow just keeps it pushing. I usually just blow whatever air uh, is in the area around me, just if there's any dust or anything trapped on any of the equipment or in the computer or whatever, I usually just use the air to blow those out. So once all that is done, I usually just have um, an aluminum tape, I usually tape the seals because these exhaust fans are not sealed, there's no rubber seal to the corners. So I usually just add the aluminum tape just to make sure all the smoke and the dust is going outside and there's none leaking through any of the cracks or any of the creases. So guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate you sticking around till the end. Please remember to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.